Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to prove this intersecting chords theorem. If two chords A, D, and B, C intersect each other at a point P, then the line segment A, P times the line segment P, D equal to the line segment B, P times the line segment PC. So let's go ahead and get started with our proof. And here is our very first step. Let's go ahead and connect points A and B first. Let's go ahead and carefully connect A and B. And we are going to connect points C and D as well. Let's go ahead and connect C and D. And here is our much nicer looking diagram. And as you can see that we got two triangles. One is APB and the other one is triangle CPD. And here is our action plan. We are going to show that these triangles APB and the other triangle CPD are similar triangles. And here's the beginning of our formal proof. Let's focus on these angles APB, this one, and the angle, the other angle is CPD. They are vertical angles. And here's the vertical angles theorem. Vertical angles are pair of opposite angles formed when two lines intersect as you can see over here. Vertical angles are always equal to each other. Over here this vertical angle 2 and vertical angle 4 they are equal. And the vertical angle this 1 and the vertical angle 3, they are equal as well. So therefore, according to vertical angle theorem, these two angles, APB and CPD are congruent. And by the way, congruent means same in shape and size. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this angle B A D, this angle B A D, this is an inscribed angle that intercepts the arc. We can see arc B D. And here's the inscribed angle theorem. The measure of an inscribed angle is half the measure of the intercepted arc. That is, this angle A B C is equal to the half of this arc AC. So thus according to inscribed angle theorem this our angle BAD equals to the half of this intercepted arc BD. And I'm going to call this one as an equation number one. And now let's focus on this angle BCD right over here. It is also an inscribed angle that intercepts this arc BD. So therefore, according to the very same inscribed angle theorem, this angle BCD equals to a half times this intercepted arc which is BD and I'm going to call this as an equation number 2. And here I have wrote down these two equations separately. Let's go ahead and compare these two equations. As we can see that the right hand side of these two equations are same. So that means we conclude that the left hand side are equal as well. So therefore this angle BAD turns out to be equal to angle BCD. 
So that means these two angles BAD and this angle BCD are congruent. And we know that the sum of the angles of a triangle is always 180 degrees. And if we can focus on these two triangles, this third angle then is going to be congruent to this angle. All right because now the sum of these three angles is going to be 180 degrees and likewise this is going to be 180 degrees as well. And here is our angle, angle, angle theorem. If in two triangles corresponding angles are equal, then these triangles are said to be similar. So therefore we conclude that these two triangles, this one, a, P, B and the other triangle C, P, D are similar triangles. So therefore we can write the sides of these triangles as a proportion. Let's look at this one, this smaller leg of this triangle and the smaller leg of this triangle. Let's write down the ratio that is going to be AP divided by PC equals to, and now this leg is BP divided by this leg PD. Let's go ahead and write down this ratio as well. So BP divided by PD. And this has become a proportion. Let's go ahead and cross multiply to remove these fractions. So we are going to get A P times P D equals to B P times P C. So thus the product of A P and P D over here you can see this one A P and P D equals to the product of BP and times CP. And that is our proof for this intersecting chords theorem when these two chords AD and BC intersect each other. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.